to this segment of Chewing the Fat with Harry and Wendy. And you guys, we had so many questions after we did our segment on the uh, P and E ratio, the protein to energy ratio, and how Harry and I are going to be upping our protein um, based on our lean body mass weight, that we thought we would bring this back. And Harry is going to streamline it. Harry wants to do this segment, you guys. So this time I get to hear Harry talk, and i got to try to be quiet. So I'm going to butt my lip, and we're going to give this over to Harry. Come on, Harry. So what is this called? What is this, this whole thing called? It's the P and E ratio that we're going with the protein to energy ratio so that's what we're going with okay so to do this you want to keep you got to keep your proteins and grams basically at the same as the energy and the carb and fat energy is just the heading for carbs and fat so don't get confused on that we're really just looking at carbs and fat what we want to do is make the carbs and fat which would be whatever they're equal to, to equal the same as the proteins. One to one. One to one. That's why it's called one to one. You want your proteins to be one. You want your carbs and fats to be one. Carbs and fats together right. to be one. So your LBM, which we're not really going to go right now. You don't really, if, if you don't know what LBM right now, don't worry about it. We'll tell, all I want you to do is understand what the L, what we're going to use, what, why the LBM is being used. Okay? What the equation is. What, yeah, what the equation is. So, Wendy's LBM, for instance, is 120. How she comes to that, we'll go over that in a minute. But I don't want that to confuse pounds. you. Okay, so that's 120 pounds, right? That's what this one would be. This one is now considered the one in 120. So that means we want to balance everything out to be 120. So over here... In the energy side. Um, yep, on this energy side with the carbs and the fats, because that's what we're using is carbs and fats. The, the carbs, the, the carbs come out to 20 grams max, right? For us, we are doing total grams. Grams, right? So whatever you decide to use as your carbs, ours is 20, right? Our fat, which she calls a lever, which means it's adjustable. You can adjust the, the level of the fats. Uh, to be able to get to your specific amount that we're talking about here of 120, because we want both of them to be pretty much 120. Total. Total, right? No. This, we want this to be 120 and this to be 120. That's why it's 120. Carbs plus fat equal 120. Right. So, since Wendy's carbs, because we, we've decided that our ceiling for, for carbs is 20, and Wendy's fat... We're figuring it's you gotta have up to 100 grams, which is kind of that's why she calls it a lever, because she can adjust that 100, because we want it to come out to a max of 120 grams of fat and energy total. Right. Okay. Now you don't have to eat 20 carbs. You can eat less than that. You don't have to eat 100 grams of fat. You can eat less than that. The trick is try not to go over the 100 grams of fat or over the total net, the total or your net carbs, okay? Because you want the total to be the same as how much protein your lean body mass is. Now, here's the trick about the protein. You want to eat the minimum is your lean body mass. So, if I weigh 120 pounds, I need 120 grams of protein, minimum. Can I eat more protein? Absolutely. So, that's the way you figure it out. Harry, what is your lean body mass? My mass is 133. So, what is your total grams of carbs going to be? Because we've both chosen to do 20. Not to, Our ceiling is 20 grams. Now, if you take, since I'm 133. It's right here. I'm going to do it over here. Okay. 133. I said, since my, 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 my LBM is 133, right, I'm going to take my 20, which is the 20 carbs away, and that's going to leave me with one, 113. God, that's terrible. 113. In fat. For my fat. 
So his protein he wants to make is going to be 133 grams of protein or more. But that's where he wants to be at every day. His carbs, he's not going to go over 20. Can he go less than that? Absolutely. His fat, he can go up to 113 grams of fat per day. Does he have to eat 113 grams of fat a day? No. That's just a lever that he can use, but that is an absolute ceiling. Over here we have the ceiling. The ceiling is no higher than 20 grams of carbs, no higher than 113 grams of fat. Over here, you want a minimum of 133 grams of protein. So it's 133 grams of protein is this one. This would be 133. And we want 133 grams of energy. And energy equals carbs plus fat. I'm writing in blue, which is the wrong thing right. to do. So why don't you tell them where they can find out how to get their lean body mass? If you go down below, if you guys are on a phone or if you're on a computer, you can go down to below in the common area. And in the common area, there's a place where you can go to our website. Okay, so I am on my video. If you look down here, it says show more. So I'm going to click on show more. I'm going to scroll down and find, click this link for Loving It on Keto website. See this? It's right here. Click on that. Takes us to your website. Scroll down. Scroll down, and this is the Lean Body Mass Calculator, and this tells you how to do it. Okay, you guys, right here is how to use the Lean Body Mass Calculator, right here. We're going to do hairy. We're going to choose, you get to choose male or female. We're going to choose male. Um, we are going to choose pounds, and he weighed 177 today. This morning, yeah. Were you closer to 177 or 176? That's 177.2. So, so let's go 176. All right. You are 5 foot, we're going to say 8 inches. Because he always says that. And pounds. Okay, so let's say if it's 77. So, 132. We have it at 133 because I think he we was heavier. Uh, heavier. Yeah before so this may change but this gives you your lean body mass is he should be eating at least 131 and we're doing 133 pounds for him okay yeah, which means you got to have to come back every once in a while and check and up on check yourself. at it so let me reset defaults and let's go to female because mine probably has changed too because my weight unfortunately went up today i weighed 180 right pounds or no, 170, 170, so 179, and I am 5 foot, 9 inches, 9 inches, and I want pounds, Beautiful. right around 120. Yeah. 120, 121, so that's how you figure it out. That's your lean body mass. That's how you calculate your one-to-one. -one. And this thing's always going to be on the site, so. Yes, it's always going to be here, so you guys can go back. And recheck yourself as you lose your weight. Now the interesting thing is, is it will fluctuate a little bit as you lose the weight. And just like every single diet, just like every single diet and all of the macros, if your body gets used to it after two to three months, after 15, 20 pound weight loss, you may need to go in and refigure it. Right, Harry? Yep. But this is what we are doing for us because... We are older. The older you get, the less your body is able to utilize the food and break down the food that you give it. So you really have to give it more. So we are giving our bodies more protein. We are also exercising and we're walking and we want to build muscles. So we need those amino acids that are broken down from the protein in order to build our muscles and our bones. What we don't need is we don't need more energy. This fat I've got plenty of energy laying on my body right now, right, Harry? 
Yep. We don't need that. And carbs, we do total carbs because on the few occasions when we eat a little higher than the 20 grams of carbs, um, you can figure out the fiber and take it away. The challenge with net carbs is the carb creep, you know, and I think that the more carbs you eat, the more chances uh, of you getting glucose spikes are potentially possible. But that's my own opinion. And if you guys do not have to follow this, this is what Harry and I are doing until the end of March, along with our Move It to Lose It challenge for February. We're going to incorporate the PE one to one ratio in our March challenge that we're going to do but you guys if you're doing something that works for you and you feel good doing it and you're losing weight and you're healthy and your inflammation has gone away stick to what you works for you but mm. this is what harry and i are going to be doing for us so please come along follow us and see how it works for us right harry yeah because you might come a time where you need to do something different too I mean, I've noticed that we have to change it up every once We in a do. While. When we first started, we were eating fat. Oh, we were yeah, having bulletproof fat. coffee. Oh, I bought God. MCT oil. We were doing all the things. Oh, don't eat that much protein, right? And it's weird because we were vegan, vegetarian, and you guys, they teach you that you get all the protein you need from broccoli. You have 100 grams, what was it, 100 grams of broccoli, and you get all the protein. 10% of your food is in broccoli, yeah. is your protein. And we were getting to the point where we were getting sick. First, it, it, started, it healed us. It, becoming a vegetarian healed us because we were away from the sad diet. And right. we felt better. But then all of a sudden, we started getting worse and worse, and we couldn't figure it out. Man, the minute we started eating protein, woo! That was when I had that, that heart attack. Right. That's when you said, uh-uh, this isn't right. Well, I started researching. Yeah, and she started researching again, and that's how we came to the keto. But but when we started keto, we were doing the high fat, um, moderate protein, mm -hmm. and I think you guys have to tweak it every once in a while to make it work for you. And we just wanted to bring this back. I know that we're recapping from a prior um, video, but so many people had more questions. Listen, if you guys have more questions, please leave me a comment below. Please, if you have more in-depth question or you really want to have a better understanding of it, please feel free to write me at lovingitonketo at gmail.com. Hey, Ted Naiman is the person who is uh, responsible for the p and &E, uh, diet, the protein versus energy, one-to-one -one ratio. He has an ebook you can buy online through his site, and you guys can Google it. You guys can look at it. But I'm thinking more and more doctors that started keto are falling away from the moderate protein and going more towards the higher protein, um, leaner meats, um, a little less fat, at least for people that are 50 years of age and older, at least for the ones that I've seen. Right. If not going strict carnivore. You know, a lot of them are going carnivore. So you guys, again, please do what works for you. But if it's stopped working for you, don't be afraid to experiment on yourself. You know, don't be afraid like Carrie and I are. Hey, we're not saying this is going to work, but if it works, what a great benefit well, it is. It's, it's not going to hurt us. It's been showing oh, yeah. some really every good day. promise yes. every day, you know. Even with your gout mm -hmm. and even taking medicine, it's been working. Yeah. So, you guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up today. Right, here. Yep. Do you have anything else to say about no, it? not really. Okay, I well. Just, I just want to relax the rest of the day. Yeah, me too. Me too. Anyway, you guys, if you like what you see, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell so you get notified when our next video goes up. You guys, give us a thumbs up. That helps shoot our algorithm out to more people like you so other folks can find us. Hey, you guys, we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. <laughs>